My name is Barbie, and I'm the manufacturer of the fantastic product Etchall, E-T-C-H-A-L-L. -L. You know, it's the cream that you've been using for years for all your jelly jars and peanut butter jars. In fact, no one in your family would ever throw away any kind of a jar because they would say, are you gonna etch it? Well, we've done all these little things and we've done those in the kitchen. Now I'm gonna take you out of the kitchen today and teach you and we're gonna walk through for home decor, your glass windows, doors, sliding glass doors, your windows, all sorts of things. And so it, it's a vertical etch and I'm very proud to say this is permanent. It will not come off and it's fingerprint proof. And also it's made in the USA, right here, right here in our home, yes. So please watch us and learn because it's a lot of fun and it can be such a beautiful thing. You know, we're talking about like sliding glass doors and things. Are right, your sliding glass doors, don't just think you're gonna put a little butterfly on it so that you can, uh, you know, see it. But the thing of it is always put something lower because the little animals that are gonna run out, they see a bird flying by and all of a sudden the dog or the cat, they hit that window. So this is a very practical thing as well as a home decor. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to show you actually how to do a large area. Think of this as a door or a window, and if any of you are out there and you wanna go into business, we'd be happy to teach you how to do this because you can get anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000, $3,000 for all of your different doors and windows. And you think, oh, I don't have any designs. We can make any design for you. We do custom etching. And how you, you think about a design is go into someone's home or your own home, look at your wallpaper or something like that for your shower door or any of your ornaments that are around. You can mix and match. So here we go. Are you ready? I am. We're going to be using the etch all. It's the cream. And we put just poured it right into this bucket because of course we're going to use a big sponge. And to do that, you would never use a bristle brush because you would have streaks. This is the only time you would use any kind of a brush and the only kind I recommend is the black foam brush on the wooden handle so that you can handle it and it's gonna spread it on. So what we've done here, and I'm gonna show you this because this is the magic of television, I wanna show you how we're gonna put it on. We just put it on really, really, really thick. As you've seen, we have done like this. Now I'm gonna put this down because I've jumped ahead and I wanna show you, you're thinking, well, how do I put that pattern on? Well, I'm gonna show you how to put the pattern on. This is your pattern. You have a stencil. Think of a sandwich, just like we do on those jelly jars and peanut butter jars. You have a, a sandwich two pieces of bread and a piece of cheese. We've got to find the cheese. So first, we're gonna take off the back part. This is your uh, top part of your bread. And you're thinking, well, how do I measure this? Because you just don't want to put it on anywhere. So what you're gonna do, you're first gonna go and you're going to put your uh, pattern on and measure it with your yardstick or uh, your ruler. And then what you do is you just make your corners. Okay, with your little marker. The marker will wash off, even a permanent marker will wash off because it's glass. You need the etching before it makes it permanent. And remember, this is fingerprint proof. So what you're going to do is you take your back piece off and then you line it up with your markings, rub it down. Then remember the sandwich we were talking about? Well. This is the top part of your bread, okay? Now today, we usually have American cheese. Today we're having the white cheese, as you can see. And we're just going to peel this off. I almost forgot. The most important part outside of your cream is our squeegee, because you're going to be squeegeeing this down tight. It must be down tight. When you're using large areas, do not use contact paper. Use the etch mask. The etch mask comes in either white or yellow. All right, we're just gonna put this down and you can see how tight it is. We just lift this piece off. Whoops! Well, now see, your door wouldn't rock and roll like this one. Okay, so we're just gonna put this on and 
tape it down, squeeze it down real tight, okay? Then what you're going to do, you're going to take your pick tool. This is your etch all detail pick tool. And some of our people call it our picker sticker. So whatever you call it, just use it. Give us a buzz at any time. You would go in, you would never go into your cut lines. You always go in the middle or to the edge and just pick it out. Oh, and you know what? I threw away a part that you need. When you pull off your top sheet, your top piece of bread, just put it on like this, because what you're gonna do as you pick your pattern, you're gonna put it up there. Now we're gonna pick this pattern and just put it up there. Pick your pattern and put it up on this. And you do this for each and every piece. Well, because I know you're busy and you're gonna to wanna to go and start doing your windows and doors, so we're not gonna pick all this. What we did, exactly what I'm showing you here, that's what we did here. We put our cream on and we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes so it's gonna etch. But while we're doing that, we'll show you a couple of other things and give you a couple of ideas. We've talked about your sliding glass doors. Now I know yours are very, very clean. So the thing of it is, you don't want your animals or your people to walk through your door. So you can put this on. Now then, if you're doing a big door or a large area, you can see I have covered everything. Don't take a chance. Use, now this is one time you use just your inexpensive contact paper. You go out and get a roll of contact paper because you're going to cover everything. You're not going to take a chance because it takes 15 minutes for a beautiful etch, but it just takes one second for a spot. So you've done this on your door, but right before you would put your cream and everything on, go out and buy a wallpaper tray. Now a wallpaper tray has four edges. So what you want to do is cut off the one edge because now your door would be flat. So you're going to put it at the very bottom and you're going to tape it. So if you have it on the round edge, you see it's not going to go flat. So just cut one edge off, tape it to the bottom of your door. And that way, if there's any cream, because remember, you're doing this for somebody else. You're not just doing it at your home and you don't want to make a mess or anything. You're showing that you're going to be very careful. So you put this down. So when you're putting on your cream, if anything would drop down and you'll notice, you're probably thinking, well, gee whiz, etch all, when I get it, it's always white. That's true. But remember when it gets warm or you use it over and over, it gets dark. It goes from white to cream to caramel to dark chocolate. Like this is like a pudding, but don't eat it. No, no, no. And the thing is, you can go black. Do not throw it away. It's wonderful. It thickens up as it gets darker, and that's what makes it so great for your vertical. Okay, so after that, we're going to take it off and show you how it's going to do. An idea for a couple of other things that I just want to show you. Now this, now this is, I could say, in your home of the mirror, you know, where you stand and you look to see how your um, dress is hem and all of this. This is another one. Uh, at my home, it's been there for many years that I've etched it. And I thought, now this is a painting convention. And I got all excited about all the paintings. So what I was thinking of is I put an oval on this yesterday. Now what I will do later on is I will cover all the mirror, absolutely. Then I'll put my cream on. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna give me a beautiful painting surface. And that's what the ladies and all of you do out there. You can rubber stamp on it, you can paint on it, and you would match something to your decor. I would take these little lilies that I've got up at the top and I would paint it on top of the etching. It gives a beautiful tooth to hold a beautiful tooth to hold all your paints and inks and everything else like this. I was telling you about sliding glass doors. Maybe some of you have the mirror doors in your, bat, in your bedrooms. Well, you know, sometimes I kind of think, oh, that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. We were upstairs in the hotel room and boy, I tell you, I got a good view. So anyway, I've decided I'm going on a diet as soon as I get home. 
and a seafood diet. I see it, I eat it. Okay, on this corner over here, you'll see, now this is a miniature. I'm sure none of you have uh, doors like this, but this is a miniature showing you that you can etch a beautiful design, something again out of your bedroom. I've even got one that um, with the kids playing uh, basketball and football, I've got one that there's a football guy and he's kicking. And then on the second one, I have the lines going over showing the ball going way over. Another one, a basketball player, and there's your basketball hoop. So these are just ideas, but hey, it's time to take off our cream. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a big squeegee. You can get these in any of your hardware stores. And all we're going to do now is to take this off and put it right back in, because what is it? It's reusable. Now it's reusable, but it's not an ever ready, like an ever ready baddie. It doesn't last all the time. So all we're gonna do is take this and put it back in, because we want to do another door and another window. And so we just take this out, <laughs> you know, like I say, your jelly jars and peanut butter jars. Listen, I've even been known uh, to do dumpster diving uh, for wine bottles when I'm out at parties because, of course, we're going to do things like that. Now get every bit of it off. And when you get that off, then what you're going to do is have a little thing of water and a sponge. Okay. Squeeze out that sponge good, because you don't want it to run. So all you're gonna do is go in now, and you are going to clean, 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 and have every bit of this off, okay? You wanna get it off on the sides and everything. Never, ever, ever, please, Never take off your pattern. Now, I know you're excited to take off your pattern because you want to see, oh my goodness, how does it look? Did it etch? But the thing of it is, if you take it off, you might stand a chance of it splattering where you don't want it. So you want to get that off good. Now, it comes off easy. Now, you're probably thinking, well, gee whiz, what if my pattern starts coming off? It won't if you use the etch mask that uh, it, from B&B &B Etching Products and the lovely Etch All. Now remember, you can go in to www.etchall.com and you can see how you can do those jelly jars. Maybe you're just starting and oh, please, please don't do your windows and doors first. Do a jelly jar, okay? And then I'm as close as your telephone. Again, I say my name is Barbie, B-A-R-B-E-E, -E, because as you can see, the B is our logo. All right, now then, I have this that I think, um, yes, oh, I can see that etching. I get so excited. I have a wonderful gal that she's standing on the back here, my wonderful Pina, and I'll do a sample or something at the, uh, the office, and I always get so excited, and she said, you always act like maybe it's not gonna work. Well, you know what? Sometimes I just get so excited. Oh, oops, now see? And it doesn't hurt your hands. Please, don't think that you're going to get it on your hands. Just wash it off. It's just like a Clorox or something, or a chemical that you would not leave on your hands. Just wash it off. Okay, now then, we're gonna see. Okay. Let's see, I take out my trusty um, pick tool. We're going to use, now this up here, of course, was just what we were showing you how to put it on. So that doesn't make any difference up here. Okay. Okay. Come in, take your squeegee. Now you're gonna Peel, peel, peel. Now I know you're busy and you're wanting to go and start doing some etching and everything. And so we're just gonna take part of this off to show you how it does. Okay. And now if you look at up close, you're going to see some little white. Now what that is, is we didn't get all of the uh, cream off. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this and take these little pieces. And yes, the, uh, the preparation and the finishing takes more time than anything. So you wanna get this all off and we'll just take these pieces and then I'm going to take, I always have a spritz bottle and this is when it's good to have this off. Okay, now we're just gonna do this part right here because I think you've got a good imagination of how it's gonna do, but, whoops. Get your spritz bottle, a town, and, uh, and your sponge, and what you're gonna do, thank God gave us teeth. Okay, you're gonna spritz this, and you're gonna wipe it off, spritz it, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off, and dry it real good. here and you can see your beautiful etch. Voila! There you have your windows, sliding glass doors, and your side lights. Just put the word welcome on it. And remember, if you need a design or you need a stencil, we'll be more than happy to make it for you, just for you. Thank you, God bless, and happy etchings.